Hey guys, how are you doing today? This is Troy, doing my second video in a week on the Ubuntu DDE 20.10. Ubuntu DDE 20.10 doing a quick video today to go over basic settings and setup I am in a virtual machine and give me about two or three minutes my channel is having its first giveaway and it's pretty big we're gonna be giving away an Xbox Series X uh, so give me a couple minutes and I'll give you more information on that but first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the control center and look at all the basic controls you have uh, go over to accounts first thing we want to go is display I love the look of this distro I can't say it enough um, under display you got your resolution you've got your brightness you got display scaling of course and then you got your refresh rate default applications this is an easy way to go in here and set what you want your defaults to be depending on what browser you're using so that way when you're doing things like opening emails and they have attachments that give you web links when you click it it'll automatically go to your default browser instead of asking you which browser do you want to open it with or some annoying thing like that mail Thunderbird mails uh, the default out of the box now you can get other mails if you want to the Geary's the evolutions I personally use Mailspring on my Manjaro install or my daily driver uh, I know it's proprietary um, but I just love the look and feel of it it's easier for me to move around with it but I am looking at giving Gary a shot here shortly text you can get your text ed editor as your basic default application for your text and then LibreOffice Writer is the second one on here because it comes installed out of the box music uh, video, pictures, albums, Firefox web browser, or GIMP. Um, comes with GIMP out of the box. I'm pretty impressed. A lot of distros nowadays aren't coming with GIMP out of the box, and it's just something that you have to go download after the install. And then terminal. Uh, personalization. This is where you can change things like the theme, accent, colors, and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it to dark because I do like dark. Uh, I think I'll go with the green accent collar. Icon theme. Humanity. Dark. I mean, it comes, look at all these icon themes it comes with out of the box. It's got, I believe, Bloom is installed by default, but you can go down here and change it to whatever you want and make it feel more personalized for you. Cursor theme. I like the cursor theme that it comes with out of the box, but you can change it depending on the theme that you set. Maybe you want to go with a red or maybe you want to go with a white. That just gives you the ability to change that up. And then, of course, your font settings. Now, I'm going to click on Network, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something real quick to show you about our giveaway this month. Like I said, we're giving away an Xbox Series X. Uh, we're doing it four weeks from today, which will be November 30th. And after you watch this little clip, I'll tell you what you got to do to get entered into the giveaway. That's pretty impressive. That's an impressive machine that they're coming out with. But it's real simple. All you got to do to enter this contest to get the giveaway on the Xbox Series X is subscribe to my channel. 
That's one way. And if you subscribe and leave a comment, you'll be entered twice. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Subscribe and leave a comment, you're entered twice. Or subscribe and you're entered once. If you leave a comment but don't subscribe, you're not entered. So I need you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and like I said, this is a channel that's in its infancy. I don't have a lot of subscribers at this present time. So you've got a good chance to win an Xbox Series X. So let's move on. Going to network. I'm on wired network, of course, but you've got DC, D, uh, DSL, VPN, where you can set up your virtual private network, system proxy, application proxy, network details, notifications. You can go out here and customize each notification for everything and every app that you have on your system, which is impressive. Sound, output, setting your mic balances, setting your balances back and forth on your speakers input if you're using uh, an internal mic you, it works on that you can do is use an external mic uh, you got all these choices sound effects you can add sound effects on boot up shutdown log out so you have the ability if you want sound effects you can have them if you don't you can shut them all off with one click boom they're gone so I mean that makes it pretty easy date and time I love this set out I, I'm, I promise you this is one of the best looking distros out there right now, if not the best. Uh, here's where you do all your date and time settings. You just zip on over here and you can change everything up. If you want to change your time format, you want to change your date format, you can change it to your liking. Power, general power, where you can set your power savings mode, your auto power saving on low battery, auto power saving on battery like I said I'm using a laptop so these are going to be more on my line but desktop you can change that to whatever you want to uh, plugged in or on battery by itself mouse you can go in here and adjust the pointer speed you can slow it down speed it up natural scrolling if you want to be able to you know scroll one direction and it go the direction you expect and then you know double tap have the cat look at you see what you want to do there keyboard and language this one right here is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, shortcuts, you can go in here and assign shortcuts to anything that you want. Go in and customize it to your liking. Once it's set up, you're good to go. System info uh, about this PC. It is Ubuntu DDE 20.10 64-bit, kernels 5.8.0-25. I'm running it on an Intel Core i5, and I've assigned it 2 gigabytes of memory. Addition license, of course, this is your GNU license, it's public license, and your general settings, boot menu, startup delay, do you want it to delay, what theme you're running, things like that. Right click on there, you can go change your wallpapers, backgrounds, anything you want. Let's try to change that one. Let's do, boom, there we go. I love it. It looks so beautiful and then you can come down here these are your you know volume internet battery and then of course if you want those to stay out of the way they can stay out of the way on-screen keyboard and then of course date and time you can set it to 12 hour if you want to recycle bin file manager can't tell you how gorgeous this file manager is you can make them as big, small as you want. You can line them up and down. You can leave that on so you got your information. Let's go back to the way it's set up. But it's very beautiful. Um, but like I said, that's basic settings, things you can go in and how to set it up. But I appreciate you all watching today. I know this is a shorter video, but I wanted to get that information about the giveaway out as soon as possible. Like I said, all you got to do to enter this giveaway is subscribe to the page and you're entered. Now, if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're entered twice. Um, if you just leave a comment, you're not entered. So you got to subscribe to the page to be entered. If you leave a comment, you get an extra tick there for you. So um, thank you guys for watching today. Uh, I'm going to recommend you download Ubuntu DDE. Throw it on a flash drive. Put it in that PC. I promise you, you probably won't go back to whatever operating system you're using prior to this. So. Thank you for watching. Enter the giveaway. This has been Mainstream Linux.